I only knew you as a name on my computer screen. You live 3,000 miles away by the Atlantic Green. I lived in California along the Golden Coast, but you haunted my computer like a ghost. We talked about our kids, our jobs, yeah. And all about our lives Talked of old romances and even Ex-husbands, ex-wives Four months kept... Hi, I'm Fame Harper. My friends at All Free Knitting asked me to show you how to use a knitting loom to make a hat. This hat can either be made on a long loom or a round loom because it's a flat panel. It can be sized for babies, children, or adults. I'll also show you how to make two tassels at once. One of my readers over on Hub Pages wanted to know how to make a hat on one of the long knitting looms. And so I had to design one. I had no idea. And I came up with this. It's a baby hat. I think it's so cute. And then I figured out how to make one for grown-ups, too. Here is the adult size one I'm making. Um, I'm hoping this will be a size for a teenager. Um, I'll know for sure when I take it off. And uh, you could make this on the circular loom or the long one. All that matters is that it has the right number of pegs on it. Each hat is made with two strands of worsted weight yarn held together and treated like one. Or you can use one strand and a novelty yarn like fun fur or something with confetti and uh, do two strands at once of that. Take your long loom or your round loom. You can use the green one too. The important thing is it has the right number of pegs, so I need 22 pegs for this one. So I'm going to tie a slip knot, put that over the peg on the side, tighten it up, and I'm going to go ahead and wrap clockwise 22 pegs in the E-wrap clockwise. And then I found it helps to take a scrap piece of string and mark off the unused peg so you don't accidentally go too far when you get carried away. After you've wrapped the right number of pegs for your project, go ahead and push them down to the bottom of the peg because we're going to wrap again. Now here's the key to making a flat panel. The last one you go across the front also clockwise like you've done so far. But from now on, going back, you're going to go counterclockwise. You're going to go backwards, backwards in time, counterclockwise. All right? Until you get back to the first peg. Then you'll have two pegs on each, two loops on each peg. Now at this point, you need to keep tension on the yarn, otherwise these will all come springing off, which is really funny the first couple times, but not so funny if you keep doing it. Now, on the very first peg, by the little knob on the side, you want to lift the bottom one over the top one, and that will lock that down. Then you can let go of it. It'll stay where it is. You're going to go along, and on every peg, bottom over top. Have fun. When you get those all pushed back down, you'll be ready to go again. Starting at the beginning, you've already done this one and pushed it down. We're going to go clockwise again. Whenever I'm going towards my right hand, I'm going to do clockwise. When I'm going towards my left hand, I'll do counterclockwise. Now when you get to the end, remember to lift the end one first so you can let go keep it from un unwinding down the row. And you're going to go just right along there. Now once your project starts peeking out of the bottom like this, go ahead and take your slip knot loose and put it on the inside. Now you're just going to keep going until you make this as long as you want it. The rainbow hat that I'm going to show you how to finish was 13 and a half inches long before I folded it. 
So the adult one, probably 16 before you fold it, before you take it off. I think this one is long enough now, so I'm going to measure it and then take it off of the loom. This one is 18 pegs wide and about 13 and a half inches long. Now just to make sure that the ends don't come through by accident, go ahead and tie them together in an overhand knot just to keep them from falling off. Now we're going to crochet all these stitches here with single crochets and one chain stitch between each one to make it just as wide. We don't want it gathering up. Here's my crochet hook, size H. Use G or H. Now my um, remaining end happened to end on the back side of the knitting, or the purl side if you will. So I'm going to be starting over here. If yours ended on the other side, your fabric's going to look like that when you crochet it. Either way, I don't see why it would make a difference. Um, so I'm going to do single crochets and between each stitch I'm going to do a chain one just to make sure that it doesn't get tighter at the top than it was when I cast on. So I pulled up one loop. I'm going to go ahead and chain one. Then I'm going to do a single crochet in the next loop. We want to make sure we don't skip any loops. Chain one. Single crochet in the next loop. Chain one. Single crochet in the next loop chain one. Let the contrasting yarn show you where to put your hook. In other words, I'm following right along that orange right through both loops. Chain one. Following right along the orange. Single crochet, chain one. Now after you've done the last single crochet, just like with any crochet project, pull the ends through and tighten them up. And then we're going to save a good, maybe two feet long of yarn to uh, sew the side seams up with. Okay, put the right sides together. And then we're going to just overcast the seam, matching up as best we can so it stays even. Gonna go right up the side with two strands of yarn. We'll do it on both sides. Secure the end and then when you flip it right side out, it's gonna look like this on the side seam. Okay, sew the other side seam. Don't forget to secure the ends. Weave in the ends like I just did and cut off your excess. Save the spare parts for the tassels. This hat is made with one um, strand of yellow and one strand of rainbow yarn. Alright, here's the finished hat. And I tried it on and like I thought, it's going to be a good size for an older child. It's a little small for an adult, unless you've got a really small head. And now the tassels are going to go here. So if you don't want tassels, you're done. And if you want tassels, then Go ahead and watch part two. I like it with this edge rolled up slightly. You can always pull it down this way all the way if you want, but it's going to just want to go up a little bit. See how it just wants to roll? I think it's cute that way. All right. I only knew you as a name on my computer screen. You live 3,000 miles away. By the Atlantic green I lived in California Along the Golden Coast But you haunted my computer Like a ghost We talked about